she, she's strong. Battle is proceeding smoothly. Victory is at hand. You might be a little more talkative than Arneza, but you don't understand your situation at all. Denied. There is nothing wrong with my analytical capabilities. Hmm? Higher priority recalled. Disengaging from battle. Damn, she got away. Was she acting on our master's orders? I can't tell. But that Neza was a formidable fighter indeed. I sense that she is optimized for this land. If we had kept at it, one of us would have ended up resorting to releasing the full power of their noble phantasm. Perhaps we should be grateful that this mountain uh, where the god we are looking for resides still stands intact. Woo! Yeah, yeah, Nessa's gone. It's not the first time we've lost a servant. Calm the fuck down. Oh, God, I'm gonna have to sit through this, aren't I? I know what's going on. It's a lot like the tides. No matter how much you plead or how much you pray, there are some things you can't stop. And you just have to accept them. I got to know Neza pretty decently myself after I met her in the Wandering Sea. It's true that I was interested in how her mechanical body was made with sage arts, but I also felt like we were similar somehow. So I know that Neza was a great warrior and an upstanding servant. God, do I really need a eulogy for fucking Neza dying? This is what servants live for. Or at least fight for. It's a life and death battle. Get over it. She died. She's not even the first one we've lost. And it's not like we can't just summon her back later. We've proven that with fucking Sanson in uh, Salem. I'm sure she was prepared for this much more than she needed to be. She would never want you guys to be so sad about her that you stopped moving forward. Yes, you're right. Let me just ask you one thing. Did she die in vain? Not at all. The enemy's sheer m mobility was like few things I have ever seen. If Neza hadn't come in contact with them first, they might have taken us by surprise and critically injured all of us. If that's what you think, hero of benefaction, then it must be true. Then when we get back, and I make my report to Sion, I'll tell her Neza fulfilled her duties admirably. I'm sorry. I'm okay now. Let's get back to work. Agreed. Now is not the time for you to worry about this other Neza. We'll handle that analysis on our end. Although one thing I did notice in your battle just now was that she did not appear to be subject to this world's estrangement effect as you are. So we may be able to learn more about that effect by focusing our efforts there. This world's estrangement effect. That's a good way to put it. It does feel like we're, we aren't truly in this world, even though we clearly are. Anyway, we won't have answers for you anytime soon, so I'd like you guys to keep going with your god search for now. And then we'll do just that. Come now, cheer up. King's orders. Moping around won't get us anywhere. Sometimes you have to say goodbye before you're ready, and others you get to meet so uh, ready. And others you get to meet someone you never expected to. That's life. Now come on, master. We have a new god to meet. Woot. Woo! Yes, master. I promise to give this search my full effort. Oh, cry me a river mash. All that aside. All that aside. Oh, hang on. There we go. Fix my mic. Where is this god? I can sense something nearby, but I don't see them anywhere. I'm actually worked up, worked up a sweat from rocking around so much. I think I'll take a little break here. Ah, this rock should make a fine seat. There we go. <laughs> Duh! 
What in the world was that? Sound like a pig squealing for its life. Of course. Alright, I forgot she was into Shodas. <laughs> I... I can't take it anymore. A beautiful boy's beautiful body coming in direct contact with me. Uh, I mean, never mind that. <clears throat> testing, testing! How dare you humans, mans, mans. Oh, I get it. It's trying to add an echo effect. Bow your heads before me, me, me. You are in the presence of a god, odd, odd. Leave here at once if you value your lives, Ives, Ives. Do that and I promise your family will live in health and your business will prosper. Er, er, er. What the? Did The Rock just talk? Foo, foo, foo! Special translation. All right, kill it with fire. <laughs> what was that? What a cheeky little animal you are daring to challenge a god. Yes, I can understand you. Know why? Cause I'm a god! Very well then, if it's a fight you want, it's a fight you shall have, av, av. Now leave all your money behind as, uh, as an offering, ing, ing. ぜ。
よろしい。Worship me, praise me, spoil me, run to the convenience store and get me more ice cream so I can concentrate on grinding. Hey, Karna, this divine aura, it can't be what I think it is, can it? Don't move, Rama. This won't take long. Huh? What? Ah! Fun story, I actually went back to uh, watch my Triple C videos to figure out the voice I did for her so I could copy that. Did you know my voice in there is trash? <laughs> like, I was listening to it and I was just like, oh, hey, so, um, yeah, how's, uh, how's it hanging? And that was my voice for her. Hey, hey, watch it! Do you have any idea what a close shave that was? Your spearhead was just a few centimeters away from making a yucky shish kebab out of my flab. You know shish kebab is like one word? Is it one word? Damn it, my phone's too far away to grab. <laughs> Karna? What are you doing here? I was just about to ask you that. What are you doing here? Uh, how's it Karna, what are you doing here? I was just about to ask you that. What are you doing here, blank, blank, blank? So, uh, you two know each other? <laughs> a lot deeper than you think. Did I just say something? What a strange feeling. I have no idea why I said I was just about to ask you that. Or what it was I wanted to say afterwards. A plus writing. Ah. <sighs> This is all very unclear, even to me. I've never met this woman before, and yet, and yet... For some reason, I have a distinct yearning to wanting to be classified as a launcher class. It's strange. I don't know how to describe this feeling. It feels as though I've just met the light of my life. And like I've just encountered my big sister. And like I've just encountered my life coach. And like I've just encountered someone who needs to be cared for and tended to all at once. I'm afraid I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> ah, so that's what's going on. I guess that makes sense, since Karna's not a god. So he just vaguely remembers his former masters from other worlds. Oh well, can't help that now. Besides, nobody has to know as long as I keep my mouth shut. <laughs> so, you feel like we're friends even though we've never met before? What do you know? That's more or less how I feel too. I get the feeling a lot of stuff's happened, but I can't seem to remember any of it clearly. What do I call bullshit? Hey, doesn't this remind you of one of those RPGs where the protagonist got amnesia and a tortured past? I can't even get mad. That's just Jenica's personality. That's just how she acts. Oh, I just hate hearing about it. It's so weird. I wonder when we'll get to the cutscene where I awaken to my hidden power. Not that waking up is really all that high on my to-do list, really. 
Personally, I prefer to hang out in the starter village and wait for someone else to defeat the final boss. I see. You're, um, a very unique person. Wait. There is one thing I know for sure. You're human. But then how are you cloaked in that divine aura? Oh, that. Sorry, Karna, but you got it all wrong. I guess not even your vaunted sight managed to see all the way to the truth of the matter this time. Me, <laughs> me, human, perish the thought. I'll have you know I'm one of the best known and most popular gods in the whole world. Just call me Ganesha. I don't think anyone said that. Yeah. Hey, which one of you just called me Indian Mythology Sideshow Act? Look, I can understand why you do a double take at a gal with an elephant for a head, but my fame and divinity are the real deal. So show me the respect I deserve, damn it. Of course I respect Ganesha, and I can more or less tell that your divine aura is genuine. But then there's this other aura that couldn't be further from the divine. Yes, that is exactly it. That's it, it exactly, Rama. I'm impressed. It only took you a moment to see through that being's true nature. Hey, you don't... you don't gotta be that impressed. From what you have said, the young lady appears to be a pseudo-servant, with the divine spirit Ganesha as her core. Ganesha is known for many things, including wisdom, wealth, prosperity, fortune, business, and the removal of obstacles. Truly fascinating. Kyalda had its fair share of divine spirit servants of all kinds, but this one looks to be much more like its vessel than the spirit inhabiting it. Da Vinci, that has literally been every pseudo-servant we have ever had. Like, except for Quetzalcoatl and Jean d'Arc. That is every pseudo-servant we have had. Think Zhong uh, Liang, only with a divine spirit instead of a heroic one. I've definitely heard the name Ganesha before, and I think I at least know the essentials about him. His elephant head is probably his most famous aspect, and he's also said to be the son of Shiva's wife, Parvati. Also, heads up, I just want to throw this out there since I'm not doing commentary over the battles anymore because that's a pain in the ass to do. Uh, I just want to throw this out there. Uh, I know a lot of people keep saying that, or I actually can't even tell if it's the fan base or whatnot, just being stupid or being meme potential territory or whatever, but Ganesha's Noble, uh, noble Phantasm, uh, what is it, Gation Impact, is not a uh, Genshin Impact reference. Fucking idiots. First of all, Ganesha came out before that game ever came out. Two, uh... Gation, I believe is the uh, name of it, is actually just another name for Ganesha in Indian mythology. There are like, I think gods have like three or four names sometimes. That's just another name referred to Ganesha. So it's literally just Ganesha Impact. And considering it's just Ganesha falling on top of people, yeah, Impact is what I would call that. So no, it's not a Genshin Impact. Stop being fucking stupid, stupid. Sorry, I had to get that off my chest. Also, boy, holy shit. Can I talk about this for a second? Okay. Because I have to bring this up because Krim made me suffer with this. So Krim showed me uh, some other FGO YouTuber. I don't remember their names. I don't care. I don't watch FGO YouTubers because I already do FGO enough as is. The last thing I want to do is watch more of it afterwards. Especially since I don't play the battles and that's what... 95% of the rest of the FGO YouTubers are is going, Oh man, is this servant good? Here's all the servants you should pull for. Top 10 list best servants, blah, blah, blah. I don't have any creative ideas. I'm going to recycle everything that everyone else does. Fight me. Anyways. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. So he showed me a video of it. That was, it was like an analytical video about being, Oh man, is Ganesha good or whatever? But uh, the weird thing is, if you saw our unboxing video, where I totally got Ganesha, by the way, um, weirdly, uh, she changes her name, like, 
based upon what form she's in. So in the first form, it's Great Stone Statue, while in the second one, they just don't even bother calling her Ganesha, despite the story will forever call her Ganesha, and she herself even introduces herself as Ganesha. She is just known as Jinniko Katagiri. Now, this video, for some reason, pronounced her name Janako. Janako. And I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? And I'm just like, how do you see that name and think Janako? Now, sure, that's the same syllables, but it's like, Janako. That sounds like you are overly exaggerating the enunciation of her name. It's like, that's, that's not how, that's, that's not how that works. I am probably really terrible when it comes to pronunciation, but I can almost promise you that is not how you pronounce a lot of Japanese names, especially since a lot of Japanese names tend to have a lot of vowels and whatnot and flow really based upon that. So it's like, I can kind of understand where you might hear it in this, in the, ten, in the sound of her name. Where it's like, Jinako. It's like, you can kind of hear it. But it's like, there's too much emphasis on the N in her name. Jinako. Nah. It's like, instead of just going, Jinako. One word, Jinako. No space, not G. Nako. Jinako. One word. I don't get it. But it made me, it, it fucking, it enraged me so much just hearing that. It was like, uh, for anyone who saw my Katawa Sojo playthrough, I talked about um, a YouTuber I follow, uh, Chilled Chaos. He played... Katoa Sojo too, and his his pronunciation of Japanese names was fucking atrocious, and I couldn't finish his Let's Play, even though I liked it, because he just could not pronounce their names to save his life, and it hurt me inside. <laughs> it's like, sure, I don't get the pronunciation right for some names all the time, but I don't think I've ever gone to a point where I'll say, like, oh yeah, let me get out Galagamesh, Galagamesh, I don't know, Galamesh. <laughs> Galamesh just sounds like a weird April Fool's version of Gilgamesh. But yeah, no, it's just uh, just something I wanted to throw out there because I had to suffer, so s suffer with me. Anyways, it's too bad Provardi's not here with us. Then you could have had a nice mother-child reunion. She, she uh, yeah, she's around too. Oh, not right now. I was just speaking hypothetically. Do you not wish to see her? Oh, well, it's not like I mind her anything. I just really don't care for the way she always blurts out whatever she's thinking. While I'm at it, would it have killed her to give birth to me in a more normal way? As for my old paw pan, well, what's a paw pan? Oh. Oh, oh, father. Okay. He's the guy who cut off my head and figured everything would be fine if he just stuck an elephant in its place. So I'm not sure I'd really know what to say if I ran into him now. Basically, even I, Ganesha, might start freaking out a bit if both my parents were here. No, I do still respect them, I think. I see. That sounds... complicated. Alpha, I've had just about enough of this! Well done on finding a divine spirit servant, but you didn't come all this way to waste time on meaningless, uh, drivel. <laughs> Who's this fat, ahem, <clears throat> stout old guy? You were about to say fat, weren't you? No? Yes? Well, I'm a god, so I figured I'd show some mercy and not diss you at our first meeting. Is that so? Well, how bloody kind of you. Frankly, you're the last one here who should be commenting on my physique. <laughs> god. Oh god, this is this is actually really funny. <sighs> I can't stop laughing. I can't I can't do Karna's voice. Does this mean you now have a friend with whom you can discuss fitness? This may be cause for celebration. What are you talking about? I don't want to celebrate anything like that! At any rate, this man is something like the supervisor of my current master, Vane. 
damn right I am. I'm not just a noble with a bit of extra girth. I'm the leader of this entire operation. For all that matters. You're a rogue servant, are you not? Then be a good lass and help us out. What? You want to make me work? Hard pass. Ninja vanish. Uh, she went back inside that statue. We need all the help we can get uh, to keep the nearby village safe. Especially now that we've just lost one of our most capable allies. It sounds like you guys have it rough. But sorry, I can't help. If you need someone to help you fight, you better try some other god. Honestly, I don't want to fight even a little bit. I'm just going to hang out in here and keep enjoying my sweet, sweet shut in life. I'm actually way more comfortable in here than it looks. It's got cushioning out the wazoo. And of course, it's fully air conditioned. I can even manifest handheld game consoles in here thanks to my mysterious godly powers of wealth. There's nothing like a good roguelike for killing time. I can play those for hours on end. She is stubborn. I know from experience how hard it can be to get her to act. At least I think I do. Weird visions from a digital world. Nobody say Digimon. Master, would you happen to know if there are any stores around here that sell Swiss rolls? <laughs> why Swiss rolls? I know why. I was speaking figuratively. I only meant that I have some idea of how to handle her. If you've got a way to convince her, go ahead. Understood. Then I will drag her out of here by force. It's not the most diplomatic solution, but for some reason I get the sense that we'd actually be doing her a favor. Indeed. This is how we usually handle gods who refuse to listen to reason. <laughs> No way! My butt shall not leave these cushions. I'm warning you, anyone who tries to mess with my shut-in lifestyle's in for a seriously bad day. It's still hard for me to believe she's a god when she says things like that, but we can't afford to back down now. I'll help Karna try to get her, uh, to get her outside as peacefully as possible. You fools! Our earlier battle was just a demo. Now witness Ganesha's full power! Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.